we intentionally started this group of bard rocks as our spring layers. We're going to end up replacing our first flock that we got when we first moved out here. That was um, almost three years ago. So those chickens are, some of them are still laying, but um, really they're getting a little bit too old. They're not laying as much. Um, we do have our Issa Browns that we got last year. I think last year. Um, and they are doing fine as layers, but we wanted to get started on a new batch of layers. And these bard rocks, and these bard rocks were our choice because we just love um, the way that they look. We love the big eggs that they lay, and they're pretty consistent layers. And so, in uh, September, we ordered, I think, ten. We ordered, um, I think, eight hens and two roosters. Well, through sickness or cold, we've lost now several. We're down to five. The chick that you saw in the last video, after we posted that video, and the chick was doing fine, it seemed like um, the next morning we woke up and it was dead. So. That was a really big disappointment. I felt really good about nursing that chick back to health and um, and it just didn't make it for whatever reason. One of you guys in the comments suggested that it was sickness going through our chicks. And my first thought was the combination of it being below freezing and their heat lamp had gone out and these being such small birds that it was just the cold that had gotten them. But that night, but a couple nights later we went out and three were dead. And they had been fine in the morning and the afternoon, and I don't know what happened to them. Um, so it seems like maybe that is correct, that there is some sort of sickness going around. I'm not exactly sure how to mend that. I need to research that a bit. I did come in here and notice that their straw was pretty damp, so we'll have to get some new straw in here, some dry stuff in here for them. Um, to combat any humidity that might be in here, because I know that that can cause some um, like pneumonia and things in chickens so we want to combat that as quickly as possible they do have good ventilation in here um, it's not completely shut up with this, um, this plastic on here so we'll definitely get that figured out we are down to five and I think that two of them are the roosters so three layers it looks like for our spring replacement flock and that's just not good enough. So we're gonna have to figure out something else to do and as I'm sitting here even, look at this. This one just is not looking well. What is going on? What is that? Um, it's snowing, obviously. it's We've gotten about three inches of snow overnight, um, but it's really not that cold. It's melting off the trees as it's snowing, so. It's not really that cold outside, so I'm leaning more towards some kind of sickness. I'm going to take this one in and see if I can get it perked up a little bit. I don't know. Wish me luck. Well, did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> it just came up with what are we doing? I believe is uh, a company out of Minnesota. Yeah, Minnesota. And they're pretty prevalent online and that's, 
I asked a couple people that I know that have done beekeeping before and that is who they had used. So that's where we went to. It's like Legos. Basically this comes pre-drilled with all the holes and everything like that. And, um, but there are hand holds on the outside. And one of the things it does say is make sure your hand holds are on the outside when you're assembling your box. So, and probably facing the right direction and all that is critical as well. If the lighting's a little rough down here, we, we apologize. It's just this time of year, everything gets dark so early and we don't have a real good spot to where we can go shoot this. So there's probably a little bit of shadowing, but basically now I'm just gonna check the square on the box to make sure that it's square. So, ta-da, the assembled hive box. I've still got to assemble the frames. Um, and I think what I may do on that is uh, take another day and assemble those and kind of show you that in another video, uh, maybe on, later on this week. Because we're kind of running out of time tonight. We've we've always wanted we've had an interest in doing bees since we lived in the city, and that was something that we looked into actually quite a bit. Uh, well, then we moved to the country, and we really wanted to get chickens, and we had pigs last year, and that was something that we were really excited about, and we really enjoyed. But we we had kind of planned on having bees last year. Um, just because of finances and time and things like that and, and the, the startup cost of getting into bees, that didn't happen last year. So this year, uh, I, I've done a lot more homework. I started last May. I looked in my, I, I, I do a, a farm journal or a journal of everything normally. Um, you know, some, sometimes when I'm doing a lot of stuff, I sit down and get into it a lot. But last May, I really, really started researching bees and started getting my hands on stuff to read about bees and then we started uh, we met some people at Baker Creek um, who do uh, bees and we started watching their channel and that is BW Family Farm they have a lot of content on bees and very very informative they're very good at explaining what they're doing and their hives and um, so that really got me fired up to go and uh, start into bees. So one of the things I will do is I will probably paint this hive um, here in the next couple weeks and I will get the frames built so the next time you see it, that's what we'll be doing. And uh, I'll probably actually be working on a second one at that time. So thanks for coming along with us today. We'll see you next time.